Hello there, person! Oh, yes! Oh, I bet you missed me! Ah, it's great to be back. Great to be back. Let's check out what's new with Wraith Binder, huh? This week has been all about the new player experience from the main menu, from the get-go. Um, we started with the character named Bad. Is that funny? Um, let's start from the very beginning in the menu. I've got a little uh, debug thing where I can stop, skip straight to the character menu. Let's go straight from the beginning of the main menu. So imagine you're just starting to play Wraith Binder. In fact, oh, let's do that. Let's go ahead and kill all my characters, everything in my save file here. We'll start fresh, because this is what it's like when you very first start play to play Wraith Binder. I wanted this, this whole experience to be very easy, even for the, even for someone that's not very familiar with video games or someone that's very young or someone where you just hand them a, a random controller and they're like what button do i press so one of the first things is it does it now shows you what buttons to pr you can press while you're on the menu so not only in the bottom right corner does it show you what player you are because there could be up to four players local um, but it also shows you what buttons you can press on this current menu so if i go to the um go to another menu like this like video options or whatever I've got the L button I can change. In fact, let's just switch to the, um, what was controller not going? Oh, come on, controller. Let's restart again. Yeah, I'll just do controller so we can see what it's like with the controller buttons on the screen, because that's kind of nicer. I like seeing those controller buttons. So there we go, we've got confirm. And while I'm in here in the settings, um, it's got, it shows me that I can use the left stick to change between options. Um, and let's go ahead and, this is where the new whole, this is where this week's worth of work has been focused, it's ma mainly on this experience right here. So we can start with, yeah, why not do two players here? Let's get two players on the screen. Um, can you even get this guy going on the other one? Huh. Well, that didn't work. Well, another new bug. Okay, so anyways, um, let's just focus on the left half of the screen then, right? There I'm, I'm player left or player one and uh, I'm using the controller. And when I first start off with the save file, um, it used to basically fill up your save file with eight random bot characters. And they were all named sequentially too with random names that all start that have three letters. So you'd have like Ab, Abe, uh, Ash, and like all these other A names eight characters you'd have to scroll through before you can do a new character. Um, so now it just, um, it recognizes those, those. It, it always fills up your save files with at least eight bots. So you can, so when you're playing one versus some other bots, it does that for you. Um, or I mean, it has some bots in its queue that it can use to play games with. Um, but now on the main menu here, it doesn't, it doesn't allow you to choose those bots as a character to play. It lets you create a new character just like you would expect if you were a new player, right? You wouldn't expect to be like choose from eight different bots. You'd expect to create your own character, right? So here we are. Um, let's go ahead and create a character. And this is neat right here. This is a little interface where you can enter your name. Um, so it's a little bit different of the way the menus work in um, in the rest of the game. Where So you press either left or right to change your letter or up or down. Either one of those works, and um, and then you can just uh, choose your letter, right? Choose your set up your name this way. So what should we name this? Um, let's name this guy Zeb. Well, Zeb, in, in honor of Zeb from Star Wars Rebels, because he's a great character with the big B. Oh yes, with the big B, for sure. So then we go like this. And it um, gives you the next button you can press as soon as you got three letters in there. And you could use spaces or underscores if you don't want to do all three letters. Um, there's a bunch of, you can do question marks and other types of uh, those kind of main character, like what are those? Exclamation mark, at, you know, hash sign, etc. So then you can choose your body type. Zeb's going to be a big guy for sure. He's big. So we'll do that. And we'll do a height all the way tall. Not short, but tall. And color. Here's a, this is a really cool. I'm proud of this work this week of getting these colors dialed in. So um, the the colors. Um, gosh, there was actually some really funky things going on with the colors. Um, 
First of all, the, the what's improved here is that the colors are a lot more distinct. This orange is clearly orange. The red is clearly red. All these purples and blues and pinks and everything are all distinct in the greens. Before there was a real, uh, there was a sort of a aqua blue and uh, like a cyan color that were very similar and you could barely tell them apart. And same with the orange and the red, they were so close. So what I ended up doing actually was um, creating a, a file in Photoshop that allowed me to um, look at all the colors and I went through a whole bunch of different um, versions. So here are the original colors um, up here in the top. These are what the what they used to look like. And you can see pretty clearly these greens and blues are really, really too close. Even this, check out this red and this and this orange. You, can you even call that? It's more like a creamsicle. Um, they weren't distinct enough. So I tried I tried playing around with the saturation a bit, and without changing the hues, and that that gave me a little bit of a different result. I like that. Um, and then I I tried alternating the the saturation values, but then I just went ahead and just really just went custom with all the hues, and um, and saturation values to give me something that I really felt was. Um, just really distinct every color is nice and distinct and then what also I had to do here in the code was to make sure that these um, I, There was some weird stuff going in the code where it actually took the entire color. So if I with my color this this uh Highlight color here is yellow, right? It, it's your eye color can show you which color you're actually um, Doing there and then your clothes are actually the opposite hue so that's their complementary color so we have purple pants going with his with his, with his yellow eyes and yellow belt, um, and this what was accidentally happening in the code I didn't realize for the longest time was these big old 3D models here, these blown up, nice high res characters were taking the yellow color or whatever color you chose and applying it to every single voxel. So the either skin color was affected by that color, your clothes color were also mixed with that color, even though they were already the opposite hue, which created a real muddy look to every all the characters. For the longest time, I was like, what the heck is going on here? I searched through all the code and I finally found it. Uh, but basically it was tinting all the colors that way. So now it um it does not tint all those things. So I've got a real nice accurate color thing going on with all the skin tones and um and the colors and everything it's just really really pleasing to the to, pleasing to the eye now and the saturation values especially gosh the sat i was trying to mess with all the saturation values and every time i changed it i was like that didn't do anything why 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 it was all because it was tinting the color too much so let's just choose mm, i don't know we'll do this green color this time wait wait no zeb is more of a bluish color he's got he's got bluish skin so yeah um, we can't do blue skin here yet. I've only got this one tone going on, but we can change the, the, the value of the skin so we can be dark or light Whatever we prefer Zeb is kind of a lighter lighter tone to his skin um, And then style so the plan for Wraithbinder is to be able to customize every piece of your armor and But that's gonna be for the online play for this local multiplayer It's nice to just drop in and create a character real fast because imagine trying to create a character uh, with your little brother or your little sister, you know what I mean? Like somebody that's like eager to play, they don't want to go and, and spend half an hour trying to customize their character. They just want to go create something right there and, and then and there and play. So um, that's what this is, where it just kind of randomizes the style of every piece of armor. Um, <laughs> some of these are funny. Okay, there. Zeb, wait, no, Zeb doesn't have hair. So we got to do one of these bald ones. We'll do this one. This looks all right. We can rotate the character. He's got a cape. That'll that'll do. Cape and a sword. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, and long hair. Zeb doesn't really have long hair, but that, that's all right. Okay, so now we have Zeb as a created character, right? And so what's nice about that whole process right there is it's one step at a time. What I used to have was a situ was a a menu where it was like this. Um, I you would go and this edit thing right here. This is where you used to create a character with all these options on here, and I noticed. When playing, especially with younger players, like around the age of 10 or 11, they would be like, what the heck do I do here? And they just pretty much ignored all this, you know? So now that it asks one question at a time, it's really simple, really easy for anyone to just pick up and just create a character. So you can edit your character and then you can choose ready and you're ready to play. I don't know why that this isn't working. Oh, I had to press the F button, that was it? Oh, I had to actually use the buttons. 
and not just these any random button on the keyboard but the actual buttons that things are bound to gotcha okay so yeah that was that was working um cam who the heck is cam <laughs> Interesting. So it must have used one of the bot characters there. I'm sorry, I'm debugging while I'm trying to record this video for you guys. Not cool with me. Let's um, let's quit. We'll go back and just start start over from there. We've got Zeb already saved. We'll use Zeb to play and start up a, a practice match. So that's ah, that's we've pretty much covered the important things that, the, that have been created already. Okay, let's go to practice. Now you know let's go str skip straight to battle. Boom, we've got Zeb. What's up, Zeb? Or we can create a new character. And even this menu right here, this is really simplified, where it, um, before it it, it uh, asks you to select a character, and it also gave you the option to edit characters, and then it also gave you the option to say you're ready, all on this one screen right here, which was very confusing for new players. So this is nice and simple, where all you gotta do on this first one is select a character. So if you've got, if you set up a, a local multiplayer match with four different characters, or two different characters, or whatever, and this is the first question that people get asked. It's very simple, like, what, which character do you want to do? Do you want to do a new character, or do you want to use one of these existing characters? Um, so we're going to use Zeb. And then, yeah, you can, and this, this hopefully is simple enough for, for, for new players right here, where you can, you can just edit your character or, or click uh, ready or play. When, it's, you're in, when you're in a single player mode, it says play. When, it's, when you're in multiple players, it says ready, so everybody can choose the ready button, and then they're all ready to play and play Blam, blam, blam. So, that's pretty much the important stuff that's been done this week. And in fact, the work done to the colors has really improved the outline colors and the background colors and the, all, the, all the colors here in the match, too. This is really, really nice. This, uh, this, this cyan color I'm playing as the, my outline is right now is actually not very much different than the original cyan color. So you're not seeing, I'm not seeing too much of a difference there myself. Um, but like the orange color, the red color, and the, the, even the purple and pink colors and the blue colors and all that, very distinct, very nice to see those um, clearly distinct versus the other colors that they were. So um, that's it. We'll keep this we'll keep this video as short as it is now. And uh, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time. Later.